Hello everyone, you are welcome to so solve for the value of x and y given this nice square root math problem which is the square root of 2 raised to the power square root of x minus square root of 2 raised to the power square root of y this is equal to 48. So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, we can express square root of 2 as 2 raised to the power of raised to the power square root of x, then subtract, now square root of 2 here, which is actually 2 raised to the power of raised to the power square root of y, this is equal to 48. Now, we have that square root of a, this is the same thing as a raised to the power of. Now, we are applying this property, we are applying this property, that's why we have 2 to the power of. Now, the next step is that we have 2 raised to the power half times square root of x. This becomes square root of x over 2. Then subtract 2 raised to the power square root of y over 2. This is equal to 48. The next step is that we can express, we can write square root of x over 2 be equal to a. And we can express square root of y over 2 be equal to b. So therefore from here, we have 2 to power a minus 2 to power b. This is equal to 48. Now from here, we have that a is greater than b. And that 2 to power a, this is also greater than 2 to power b. Therefore, we have that 2 to the power a minus 2 to the power b. This is equal to 48. From here, we can express a equal to k plus b. We can express a as k plus b. So here we have 2 to the power k plus b minus 2 to the power b. This is equal to 48. Now, 2 to the power k plus b, this is in the form of a to the power n plus m, which we can express as a to the power n times a to the power m. Now, applying this exponent property, we have 2 to the power k multiplied by 2 to the power b, subtract 2 to the power b, this is equal to 48. 2 to the power b is common here. We can factor out 2 to the power b so that we'll have into the parentheses 2 to the power k subtract 1. This is equal to 48. The next step is that let's get the factors of 2 to the power b. This is actually an even number. And we have 2 to the power k minus 1. This is odd. The next step is to get the prime factors of 48. Here we have 48 times 1, then we have 1 times 48, then we have 2 times 24, then we have 24 times 2, then we have, here we have 16 times 3, and here we have 3 times 16. So, we have to ensure that we have an even number and a whole number at the same time. So in this case, here we have 48 and 1 here. So this implies that this is okay. So the first part here is an even number, and this second part is a whole number. So from these prime factors that we have here, we have 48 and 1. This, this is okay. 1 times 48 here, we find that, remember, A is greater than B. So this does not satisfy the condition here. Then here we have even and even, so this does not satisfy. 24 is also even and 2 is even, so this does not satisfy. And then here we have 16, 16 and 3 here. 16 is even, 3 is odd, so this satisfies the equation. Here we have 3 and 16. This means that 
Remember, A is greater than B, therefore this does not satisfy. So here we have two cases. We have two cases here. Case one, we have that case one. Case one here, we have two to power B into the parentheses, two to power K minus one. This is equal to 48 times one. So in this case here, we have two to power B. This is equal to 48. And here we have two to power K subtract one. This is equal to one. So now we have two to power B. This is equal to 48. 48 can be expressed as 16 times, this is 16 times three. So to solve for B here, we introduce logarithm here. So we have rog two to power B. This is equal to rog 16 times three. So rog two to power B, this is in the form of rog a to power n, which you can express as n rog a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then rog 2 to power b becomes b rog 2. This is equal to rog 16 times 3. So let's divide both signs here by rog 2 and also here by rog 2. So that now b is equal to rog 16 times 3 divided by rog 2. Now rog 16 times 3, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this logarithm property, then we have that b is equal to rog 16 divided by rog 2 then plus rog 3 divided by rog 2. We can express rog 16 as rog 2 to power 4 over rog 2 then plus rog 3 divided by rog 2. Now we have that rog 2 to power 4 by applying the power root property here. This becomes 4 rog 2 divided by rog 2 then plus rog 3 over rog 2. Let's simplify rog 2 and rog 2 here so that b is equal to 4 plus rog 3 over rog 2. Now we have that rog 3 over rog 2 this is in the form of rog A over rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have that B is equal to four plus, this is rog three to base two. This is the value of B in case one. So this implies that we can solve for A. We have that B is equal to 4 plus rog 3 to base 2. And that A is equal to K, K plus B. So we have that 2 to power K minus 1. This is equal to 1. So we can solve for K here. 2 to power K, this is equal to 1 plus 1. So this is 2 to power k, which is equal to 1 plus 1. This is equal to 2, 2 raised to power 1. So this implies that k is equal to 1. So we have the value of k here. So this implies that a is equal to 1 plus b. b is equal to 4 plus rog 3 to base 2. So this is, since we have that b is equal to 4 plus rog 3 to base 2, we can express A, remember A is equal to K plus B. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we, ha we have that 2 to power K minus 1, this is equal to 1. 
So let's take minus 1 on the right hand side. So we have 2 to power k. This is equal to 1 plus 1. So that we have 2 to power k. This is equal to 2. So we have 2 raised to power 1. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to power n. This is equal to a to power m. Then the exponent n is equal to m. So this implies that k is equal to 1. So we have the value of k from here. So this implies that a is equal to k, which is 1. Then plus b, b is 4, plus root 3, to base 2. So therefore a is equal to 1 plus 4, this is 5, plus root 3, to base 2. Now this is the value of a. We have the value of a and b in case 1. Now here we have that the value of a is equal to 5 plus root 3 to base 2. And we have that the value of b is equal to 4 plus root 3 to base 2. So this, this is the value of a and b under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. Now if you recall here, if you recall here, we have that 2 to power b into the parentheses 2 to power k subtract 1. This is actually equal to 16 times 3. So this implies here, from here we have 2 to power b into the parentheses 2 to power k minus 1. This is equal to 16 times 3. So this is actually an even number here. This is odd. Here we have even and here we have odd. So let's do the comparison here. So 2 to power b, this is equal to 16. And 2 to power k minus 1, this is equal to 3. So this implies that 2 to power b here, this is equal to 16, which is actually equal to 4 squared. Here we have 2 to power k. Let's take minus 1 on the right hand side. So this is 3 plus 1. So that here, 2 to power k, this is equal to 3 plus 1, this is equal to 4. Now, from the left hand side here, we have 2 to power b. This is equal to 4 squared. Now we can express this as 2 to power 4. So this implies that the bases are common here, so that b is equal to 4. So the value of b is equal to 4. Now, here we have 2 to power k. This is equal to 4, which is 2 to power 2. So this implies that k is equal to 2. And therefore, and therefore, a, which is equal to k plus b, this implies that a will be equal to 2 plus 4. And therefore a is equal to 6. So therefore a common b under case 2, this is equal to 4 and 6. So this is the value of a and b in case 2. In case 2. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Kindly like and subscribe. See you in the next video.